Hi, happy Monday. I hope you had a great weekend. Um, I was actually out of town and I was at a swimming pool today and watching this darling little girl. Did I say today? Yesterday I was at the pool. I was watching this little girl. She was probably about four. She was with her dad. She was sitting on the side of the pool and she had this um, blue bucket and she was telling her dad, I am fill filling it with joy. And I thought, wow, that is so sweet. I know it's just one of those little things that just warms your heart. Um, so I'm going to start with prayer. Dear Father, I thank you. I thank you for this message that you put in my heart. I pray it touches those who are listening right now. I pray, God, that um, you would use me and, Lord, that this would give you glory. And I praise you and I thank you and I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. So as I had um, seen this little girl, and again, she's filling this bucket and saying, I'm filling this with joy. I thought about how God has filled us with joy. He truly has. He tells us um, in Galatians 5 that when we received the Holy Spirit, we received his fruit. And one part of that fruit is joy. Um, we receive so much from the Holy Spirit. And if you're not aware of that, I, I just really hope that you would read Acts. Acts is, is totally about the receiving of the Holy Spirit and how that power within us that we receive from the Holy Spirit um, is for us to use. Everything that we need in this life, on this world, on this planet, um, is provided by the Holy Spirit, who is just part of the Trinity. So it really is God within us in the form as the Holy Spirit. Um, so you have, excuse me, so you have that joy. Now, you have so much more than that, though. And your choice is important because you have everything that God has provided you with to enable you to have overflowing joy while you're here on these, this earth. It says in John 10, I believe it's John 10, 10, that um, it says the enemy comes to kill, steal, and destroy. But I have come, Jesus, that you might have life and life to the fullest while you're here on this earth. Life filled with abundance, with peace, with joy. When Jesus went to the cross and died for us, most of us know the story that he died for our sins. And hopefully you believe that. Most importantly is that you believe God's word. If you're not believing God's word, then you're never going to have that life that is life to the fullest. And what I mean by God's word is the whole Bible, to believe the whole Bible. When you receive Christ as your own, as your Lord and Savior, you received instantly a special measure of faith that is God's faith placed within you. That kind of faith enables you to grow stronger in your belief of God's word. So important in Romans tells us faith comes by hearing and by hearing the word of God. So you have this measure of faith that is God's faith not just the regular faith that you have that when you sit in a chair I have faith that this chair is going to hold me up it's not that faith it is the God kind of faith that's the faith that enables you to believe that Christ did go to the cross to die for you and it enables you to believe that you are going to heaven one day if you're struggling with that faith then you better be doing what it tells us in order to grow your faith you have to hear God's word the way that I believe is the easiest is just to read the Bible out loud. Read it out loud. You're growing your faith as you're reading his word out loud. Listen to scripture. Um, listen to ministers, evangelists who are truly reading scripture out loud and teaching on that scripture. These are the ways that you grow your faith. Okay, so we have joy within us. We have the Holy Spirit within us. And then we have everything Jesus died for on the cross for us, provided for us. Not just that he delivered us from sins, but in Isaiah 50, 53, 
I'm not going to read it. You need to read it. You need to read it out loud and get it deep down inside of you. Everything that he died for you. Isaiah 53 lists so much of what he died for. There's even more, but that list is awesome. Tells us he died that we might be well, well, healthy, well, whole, because he died for all your illnesses. By his stripes, we are healed. It says he carried our illnesses. Also says that we are healed or, or that he carried our iniquities. Iniquities is an interesting word. If you do a deep search, a deep, deep study on iniquities, iniquities is sin that has been carried on through your forefathers. Iniquities is truly like um, uh, uh, chronic headaches, cancer, heart attacks. It's that thing that a lot of people say, oh, my family has that. It's in our genes. It's in our makeup. I have to be aware because all my, my um, grandparents died of heart attacks. Oh, my parents died of cancer. No, that is an iniquity. And it says Jesus died that we do not have to live under that curse, that iniquity any longer. But do you believe it? Are you believing all of God's word? And are you speaking it as truth? Or are you speaking the illness as truth? That's what's important. Are you saying, oh, that is in our family? Or are you saying, nope, Jesus died for that and I'm not having it? Because what you speak will not come back void. The power of life and death is in your tongue. It's in your words. That's what it tells you in the Bible. So again, are you believing that? Are you believing that your mouth, your words truly speak life? Because if you're not believing that, then you better get in there, study your Bible until your faith grows enough to where you do believe that. Watch your words. Watch what you're speaking. Claim what Jesus did on that cross. He did it for you. He suffered for you so that you could live whole and well and have life, life to the fullest. Okay, so he says, I died for your sins. I died for your illnesses. I died for your diseases. I died for your iniquities. I died for your guilt, and I died that you might have peace. Wow, guilt is huge. Are you feeling, feeling guilty about something in the past? Are you feeling guilty about something you did yesterday? Because you know what? Di Jesus died for it. He's saying, I died for it that you don't have to carry it anymore. You give it to me, Jesus, and I've got it, and you don't have to carry it. Speak truth. Speak life-filled words. I am not having guilt. I am having peace. Thank you, Jesus. You died on the cross that I might have peace, and I receive it, and I take it, and I walk in it. And Holy Spirit, you live and dwell within me that I might have exactly the fruit, which is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. Those are all mine. Everything Jesus did on the cross for is mine. I am going to watch my words, and I'm not going to speak curses or death or illness into my life any longer. That's my decision. Make it your decision also. Believe what Jesus did for you. Believe what God did for you when he put the Holy Spirit within you. Believe and live life to the fullest. Dear Heavenly Father, I thank you for your word. I thank you that every promise in there is for us to hold on to and to claim and to believe. Lord God, I pray for those right now who have heard this word, that they would step up and be strong and watch their words and change their words, that they might receive all that you want to give them and that they won't give up because faith is believing in the unseen and believing and believing and believing until it comes to pass. So God, I thank you for this. I pray it into all those who have heard it. And I praise you and thank you and give you all the glory. In Jesus' name, amen. Walk in faith. Believe.